Hi, my name is Barry Crompton. Today I'm going to show you around our John Cooper Works Mini. Then I'll take you for a ride in it. But first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. And it, it's a bit of a struggle to tell you a little bit more about it because I have looked online. There's so many extras you could get on these from new, all different parts, all different bits of the spoilers and so on. From memory that is, because I can't find a brochure online. Um, if any manufacturers are watching, you should keep all your old brochures online so people like me can look at the spec of the cars they've got in, they've taken in second hand, and they can charge accordingly. Um, you, you see vehicles for sale on the internet, some are standard cars, and some have got a load of extras, and they're, they're nearly the same price. So, keeping the brochures online, I'm sure, would increase the residual values of proper cars. Uh, just, just, just a thought, just one of my thoughts. So I'll, I'll try and tell you, I'll try and point out what it's got, and uh, I will see if I can find the, the standard specifications, see what's extra and what's not. So we've got the Cooper Works Viper stripes on the, the front, the, the black stripes, the chrome grill surround and light surrounds, John Cooper Works badge, the lower spoiler, the five spoke black alloys, red calipers, Pirelli tyres, John Cooper Works indicators, the red roof, black roof carrier system, the red mirror backs, rear privacy glass, the chrome window separators and chrome door handles, and also this uh, sill extension kit. We've got the plastic wheel arch protectors, and these, I've not noticed them on, on other minis, but these seem to have kind of a, a built-in spat, probably a, a gain uh, specific to the John Cooper Works car. I'm not sure though. So we've got uh, the integrated rear spoiler, and it's it's quite a big spoiler. The chrome surrounds again, the black handle with a mini emblem in. Electric boot release. Um, if you remember the it's a mini adventure adverts. Well, great if you're going on a mini adventure, but you won't be taking too much luggage with you. That's my camera equipment in the back. Not a whole lot of room, I have to say. So we've got the rear load cover, chrome light surrounds again, the John Cooper Works rear bumper, John Cooper Works badge, no danger of forgetting which model it is twin exhaust pipes it does sound uh, pretty horny as well let me just uh, give it a rev So we have keyless go here. Do with the key what you want. Um, foot on the clutch. And this uh, great start button. Great sound when you, you start it up. Lovely exhaust sound. If we go to menu, and uh, then we go around to vehicle information here. Click on vehicle information. You've got all these things, quick reference, picture search, down to vehicle status, uh, click on vehicle status, and then wind it down to service requirements, onto service requirements, and it tells you there, service history. Um, here we go, we'll just go down to there. 5th the 8th, 2017, 10,897 miles, at dealer 08623, which means nothing to me or you, uh, only other BMW dealers, stupid idea. Next one, 7th 11, 2017 at 14,277 miles. Um, that's at 08623 again. Next one, 24th and 9th, 2019 at 30,465 miles, uh, 0836. Then it was done 29th of 4th, 2021 at 41,768 miles miles and that's dealer not not so that that's no doubt going to be an independent the digital service history unless you've got a book stamped unless you've got an invoice nobody can track that it's just it's gone 
digital service history stupid idea um, anyway there you go that's that's BMW for you um, <coughs> right let's uh, let's get going um, this is a, another <laughs> Another car I jumped in this morning and thought, God, this is horrible to drive. And then after I'd been driving it for a while, especially when I got it on these country roads, I thought this this could be fun. Um, my normal setup, I can't I can't do today because uh, there's no headrest posts. So I don't know how long that'll stay. It's waggling about already. It'll probably drop off shortly. And I've got all my camera stuff in the boot there's loads of stuff to rattle and it's hard suspension it's, it's already getting out of my nerves so we'll just try and get it so it doesn't make try and get it so it doesn't make any noises Nothing coming. Here we go. Now then, one of the things on the Mini is this little button here, and you've got to, if you knock it that way, there you go. This has got ambient lighting, so all that goes green to tell you you're in green mode. There you go, green mode. Knock it back, that's mid mode, that's like an amber, and then sport maximum go-kart feel uh, so yeah again it's uh, something making the noise in the boot and I, I, it will drive me mad if I can't stop it don't think the boot was shut properly. I've got a massive camera bag in the boot which takes up all the room and it's as wide as the gap between the back seat and the tailgate so it was pressing against the tailgate and it wasn't shut properly. Right, let's get back to go-kart mode. Always tempted to go too fast in these. I'm not going to do because Lots of animals don't quite know the highway code around here. But I, I, I mean, it, it is fun to drive. The, the steering in go kart mode is very precise. And I noticed on the motorway, I'm used to driving a Range Rover, and it's kind of like sometimes it's like steering a an oil tanker and you, you input uh, a turn into the steering wheel, a slight turn and then it takes a bit for everything to respond and for the tyre walls just to flex a little bit but this this Mini, look, you, you, you like, it's instantaneous so anyway, we, it looks great, it looks really flash from the outside, um, the pretty iconic minis in Britain, well, all over the world as well. Uh, this, um, the, the Viper stripes on the front, and this, this is what I mean about uh, the countryside. Come on, go on. Don't want to be making snuff movies. It's uh, although it's lovely today, it's a little too windy to put my drone up. And after last last week, there's uh, there's a lot of birds around here and, and the oyster catchers. And every time I put my drone up, it seems to attract these oyster catchers and they just keep flying around it. They don't attack it, they just keep flying around it. 
Anyway, my drone was following me and it's programmed automatically to follow the car, locked on the car, but it just disappeared. And then I got a warning on, of course, I can't look at the screen while the, the drone's flying. And I just got a few beeps and it says emergency landing. Uh, I, it had lost control. I couldn't see where it was, which is um, my bad kind of thing because you, you only should really do line of sight. But um, anyway, long story short, it landed in a field. And I have DJI drones do have um, drone finder or find my drone. And I tracked it back and it was in the middle of a field. And of course, when I got it home, I watched the video footage back and I realized what had happened. On one of these oyster catchers, the car was in view and there's a little green box around it to say that's what it's tracking. And then three oyster catchers flew past re very, very close. And it flew and eclipsed the car. And then the drone followed the oyster catcher and went and landed in a field. So anyway, it's too windy today, but uh, now this is, uh, I mean, the suspension's quite hard, but it, uh, it feels quite good on these country lanes. Nice gear change, light clutch. It's, uh, I haven't seen any marks on it whatsoever. It's just been serviced. And these are the roads. I mean, they, they, uh, as I say, they, they are iconic, I think. In our uh, office, we have a picture which we've had up for 20 years, and I, th I think it's Paddy Hopkirk, and a painting of this uh, this mini. Lots of pheasants about. Oh look, that's a hare, isn't it? Long ears like that. Big back legs. The air conditioning here as well, and it's working. It's uh, Pretty warm already, but uh, nice and cool in the car. Let's just drop a couple of gears. <laughs> <You've> got, <laughs> it's got the old machine gun fire after you accelerate. I'm going to have to do that again. In, in fact, I'm going to have to try and get that. Where can I put a microphone? try and rig a microphone up but I'm not sure how because I've I've not got all my stuff my recording gear with me today profile tyres too.
got Bluetooth hands-free, Bluetooth audio streaming too. You've got auxiliary and a USB plug down here, two cup holders. Here we've got the here we've got the controller. If we just click menu there, let's say vehicle information settings. Uh, you have got this mood lighting. Light, easy for me to say. You have got this mood lighting. Um, if we click on there, lights. Knock them off. There you go. Ambient lighting. Knock the ambient lighting off. If you want it when you buy the car, remember to switch that back on. Checks. Fast little car, this get you do get carried away. I love the steering. I'm just going to uh, put it back into normal because you do feel quite a bit of tension back on the steering wheel. So, so if I just knock that up back, that should be back into mid mode. Be honest if anything it is that's better nicer feel to it and again it, it, it always surprises me why and how the engineers spend years building it to, to drive perfectly and then they give the driver the option to mess about with the settings And mess it up. <laughs> it's certainly a fun car. Now you're welcome, mate. No, don't, no, no need to thank me. You, you carry on. the worst place to meet another car coming. I 
again. No, no, you're okay. No. <laughs> Too much gratitude. There we go, there's the telephone button. Menu button in the middle. The good thing is you don't have to look. Radio, multimedia, telephone, contacts, mini connected, vehicle information and settings. Coming the other way up there. Watch out for him. <laughs> Again, this is where you always just meet on the right on the brow where you can't see. Or a blind bend. Unless he's seen me coming, I'll tell us it's a turn up. Oh yeah. No, I, I thought he'd stop there to let me come through, but they're just admiring the view. I have to say I don't blame them, it's lovely. So anyway, that's uh, that's about it. Lovely car, great service history, just been serviced, super condition, lovely colour, red roof. I'm assuming it's old English white. It looks slightly off white, uh, not brilliant white. The black flashes of the bonnet, uh, front and rear spoilers, the little discrete side skirts or sill extensions and lots of fun to drive <laughs> I'd say what, I've got half a mind to come onto this uh, little car park bit and do a handbrake turn and spin round. But I got visions of me doing a handbrake turn and uh, going down into the uh, into the valley there. So I won't do that. <laughs> 